Hello everyone, let's solve this linear equation. We have this linear equation with some parentheses. And so um, for solving this equation, the first thing that we need to do is to remove the parentheses. And to do that, we are going to distribute this negative four to the x and then also to the three. Okay, so let's get started. So first I'm going to put down the 14. So I'm just going to just bring down the 14 right here. Okay, so we have 14. And then now we start distributing that negative four to the x and to the positive three. So we are going to do this, this distribution here. So negative four and then negative four to the positive three also. So we are going to get minus four x. Okay, so <clears throat> that's the first turn. And then the second turn that we are getting when we multiply the negative four with the positive three is that we are going to get negative 12. And then that's equal to two x minus one. And then once you get to the step where there are no more parentheses and we are going to start um, combining like turns. So if you see that there are like turns like this one where we have the 14 and then the negative 12, then we can combine like turns by just taking the 14 minus the 12, which would give us two, right? So we are going to get two. So we are going to get two. And then we are just going to copy down this negative four X here. So we are going to get negative four X and that's equal to two X minus one. Okay, now what is the next step? The next step is for solving a linear equation is that we are going to move all the turns with the x on one side and then move the turns without the x on the other side. So what we are going to do here is that we want to move this 2x to the left side. That's That can be done by subtracting 2x from both sides. And so let's do that. We are going to subtract the 2x from both sides of the equation. Okay, so as you can see here, um, it's positive 2x right here. And then when we subtract 2x from both sides of the equation, the positive 2x and the negative 2x, they will cancel each other out. So you're going to get zero here. So we can cross them out like this. And then, so we are going to add the negative 4x and the negative 2x together. So we are getting two minus six x. And then now on the right hand side, you cancel the two X and the negative two X already. So we are going to just get the, what the negative one. Okay, so as I mentioned before, we are going to move all the turns without the X on the other side of the equation. So I don't want the two on this side of the equation. So I'm going to subtract two from both sides, right? So let's subtract two from both sides. And the reason for why I'm subtracting the two because I have positive two on the left side and to cancel this positive two, I need to subtract two so that they will get canceled just like the previous step. Okay, so now I cancel them. And then so um, on the left hand side of the equation, we are left with just the negative six X. Okay, so let's continue with our calculation right here. So on the left side of the equation, we are going to get just the negative six X and that's equal to now, what do we have here? Negative one minus two, or you can just treat it as negative one plus negative two. Either way, you are going to get negative three. Okay, so now what happens next is that we are going to divide both sides by negative six so that we can get rid of the number in front of the X. Now, because we're solving for X, I don't really want to turn this into a zero. I actually want to turn this into an X. So this time we are not doing addition or subtraction. We are actually doing division. And so let's divide both sides by negative six, whatever that's the, um, whatever that number that's attached to the X, then we are going to be dividing by that number. And so let's divide by the, uh, by the coefficient of the X. Now see that this time, because I'm dividing, I need to put the fraction lines there. 
And when I was doing the addition and subtraction, I wasn't putting the line between the numbers. So make sure that you can tell the difference. For those two operations, I used the red color. They were doing addition or subtraction. Here, I'm dividing. So I'm putting the fraction line. So I'm going to divide by negative 6. And so you can see that um, negative 6 divided by negative 6 will give you a positive 1. So now that becomes a 1. And then this negative 6 also becomes a 1. So you can, you can see that we're getting 1 over 1 right here. So that's 1x. OK. So we get 1x on the left-hand side of the equation. So usually we don't put the 1 when um, when the coefficient is a one, so we just have x. And then what about the right-hand side of the equation? We we see that there are two, um, each number, each of the numerator and the denominator has the negative sign, so we can actually um, cancel them, right? So we can cancel the negative signs as well. And then so we are left with just the number three over six. And then we can actually do the uh, reducing the number, right? We can reduce the number. So we can divide top by three. Then we are going to get one here. And then if we divide the bottom by three, then we are going to get two. So our final answer will be one over two, one half. And so that's the solution to this equation. OK, so that's it for this video. Um, thank you for watching. I will see you next time.